devotion for Wednesday, March 23rd, 2022. In the Moravian Daily Text, the watchword for today says, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. That is 2 Samuel chapter 22 and verse 2. The accompanying doctrinal text says, Jesus said, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Again, Jesus said, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Now, in this Lenten season, let us hear what God would say to us through today's watchword. The watchword is, again, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. Let me say that life as an adult is often complicated. We have to make choices. Sometimes those choices lead to good outcomes and other times not so good outcomes. Choosing a career requires one to do the necessary preparation work in high school and then it's college and university. We do not wake up one morning and advertise ourselves as a professional. That would be delusional thinking. The psalmist David, the author of this statement, was chosen by God to replace Saul as Israel's second king. You see, God recognized David's strength as a teenage shepherd and then as a young soldier. David enjoyed a long reign as king of Israel. However, David's elevation among his brothers and friends created a climate of jealousy among them. And later, even King Saul sought to kill David in a jealous fit. In this psalm, David looks back at those times when he was forced to appeal to Yahweh, the God of Israel, to come to his rescue. David acknowledged God as the one who had hidden him and protected him from those who opposed him and those who sought to kill him. David praised God for protecting him and preserving his life. During this Lenten season, let us pause. Let us reflect on the times we too appeal to God for his help in a difficult situation. Let us, like David, praise God and thank God for his love. Let us praise God for his kindness and his mercy. You see, our God is truly a wonderful God. He loves us and seeks our best interests every day. Let us also remember the words of Jesus recorded for us in the Gospel of John. Jesus said, in this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we adore you and we praise you for who you are, the merciful deliverer. Thank you for watching over us and protecting us from those intent on harming us. Thank you for loving us and forgiving us our many sins. Continue, O oh God, to use us as instruments of your love and your forgiveness. Thank you for your promise of eternal life with you when our earthly life is ended. Hear these, the praise of the people, for we ask them in the name of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.